Hey guys, welcome to your monthly reading. We're going to get straight into it, okay? Sorry about the delay, but we're here now. Aries, Aries. Alright, Aries. You know what? We're going to do a Divine Doors, alright? So, uh, this is Divine Doors. It's a beautiful, beautiful, little, tiny little deck, okay? Now, it's gorgeous. If you'd like more information or if you'd like to purchase this, okay, the um, information is in the description box below, okay? But it's beautiful. It's created by a psychic medium, alright? Um, so we're going to get a door for you, right? Okay, we're actually going to pick a door, okay? So this is your opportunity, all right? Choose a door, all right? And we'll read out which one's which, okay? All right, you got it? All right, we're going to do this one first, okay? This one's called Jude's Song. A reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases you can find peace within the strangest of places. Okay, so it's got a little thing on the back there. Okay, um, I'm actually going to read that again. Okay, so a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. Okay, that's a deal. All right, if you chose the other door, all right, um, this is called Bless This Space. So your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santo or sage will clear the air, right? I'm legit. God, Palo Santo, it's, it's going right now. All right. So this could help. This is cleansing. This is clearing, right? Um, so get into that. It could be beneficial, guys. could be beneficial. All right. Um, okay. So we're going to start your reading. All right, this is uh, about not getting distracted, okay, um, because of the energy that just shifted then. This is like um, I feel that somebody is either going through a drama or going through a debacle or there's some sort of external circumstance, okay, where it's trying to get your attention but you've like haven't had enough of it, okay. It's just like, no, I don't want to focus my energy on that. Um, possibly uh, this could be about, um, you know, cl closing of cycles, okay, closing of doors symbolically, all right. Um, because we just did the bloody, okay, we just did divine doors, right? And then the door shut, okay? Um, so it's heavy, heavy symbology here. So if you're interested in this stuff, look into it. Um, it could help you out, all right? Um, this could be about doors opening too here for someone. Uh, there's a door opening here. It's an opportunity here for somebody, okay? So it can work in both ways, all right? Um, it's very interesting stuff. Anyway, we're going to get into it. So we're going to start with Lenoir, all right? Oh, I love you, Aries. Thanks for being patient with me, guys. Really appreciate it. All right. Closing out of cycles. We have got the moon here. Moon represents depression. Okay. Um, okay. Enlightenment here for someone for some reason. That's what, just what they're saying. All right. Um, so it can be depression. It can be not seen clearly. It could be in a fantasy world. Okay. Um, that could be the cause for enlightenment. Okay. And realizing these things. All right. Um, a dark patch, nighttime vibes, just in general, mate, uh, feeling that way, perhaps. Um, it, it's coming through as illusion here for somebody. All right. And actually being under the influence too. We've got, um, documents or a message, which seem to be in their power. All right. Uh, so this is good. The information's coming through and it looks like it's, it's a good thing. Okay, it's either happiness, uh, a good message, good information, uh, documents are in their power, right? Um, so this is coming out of a state of, um, you know, illusion, um, possibly deception here for someone, all right? Um, hard evidence here for someone as well, which is interesting. <laughs> oh my goodness, we've got the coffin here, right? And I pulled it off this bloody energy, all right? Sorry for swearing, but this seems intense as for someone. All right. Um, so we've got the coffin here. This represents endings. Okay. It represents endings and that's it. That's final. That's the deal. Okay. It's over. It's done. It's done now. This is the deal. All right. Um, this can be talking about um, also on a separate message, deceased communication as well. That could be a deal just because of the reference to the death symbology. Okay. And this information come through. There could be good information that comes through. All right. It could help you out. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, we could all, all be up in the head about it. We could be thinking about things. We could be worrying about things. Uh, when is our ship going to come in? Okay. That's for somebody as well. Uh, this could be to a past effect. This could be a present 
present deal here this is about thinking where we're heading for the future okay and what needs to be put into place to either end something begin something start something okay you may have some intuition about this okay this represents intuition this represents psychics um stuff like that okay so this could be involved okay you could have a prediction someone might have predicted something all right um and this is worth thinking about okay this is worth thinking about um whatever it is the information seems to have come to light okay regarding this or um it's powerful information a happy message or happy information or it's just within its power all right um it's really good all right so if this is you we're gonna get your angels learning experience and it fell out weird okay i was drawing off this moon energy okay um so this could have been something that we were struggling with all right learning experience when this card falls out damn is it a learning experience guys it is something that it's just a learning experience it's a big deal normally okay but we might not know how to feel about it we may know we we might not we might know better okay we might be seeing this coming up <laughs> going well i've been through this massive debacle before is it going to happen again like seriously like, that's the deal, all right? So uh, use your own discernment and trust yourself, right? Trust how you feel about this. Take things slow if you want to, all right? Am, are you getting yourself into trouble? Who knows, all right? So you're going to have to figure this out for yourself. Uh, for somebody here, we have learned it. We have learned it, all right? It is done. It is dusted, all right? And there's no need to worry about this crap anymore, all right? So uh, come to your own conclusions about these things, all right? Um, these messages are going to speak differently to different people. We've got generosity, all right? And that's... Um, it's off this, all right? So there's generosity involved here, all right? Uh, happy times, all right? There's happy times here with the smiling sun, all right? Happy times. And this is your card too. Like, it, it's general fire energy, all right? General fire energy. But, um, you know, Leo, uh, Leo Aries, and uh, Sag, all right? Energy. Uh, generosities could be involved. Someone may be being generous within the situation, all right? Or we may be being thankful. This is about thanking, okay, what is around you and seeing the abundance around you too, okay? That could be a deal. That could play a part in this, all right? We've got a commitment commitment to learning here, all right? We've got a commitment to learning uh, and we've got a commitment, okay, to move on, to see things differently, to make a positive change, to make the positive difference, right? Okay, that could help. Okay, that could help a lot. Uh, the commitment here seems to be within its power. Um, this is about, it could be about family. Okay, this could be about more than one person or two people here. It could be more than that. Or it could be more than one aspect here. Like it could be two or three or five aspects here. All right. Uh, we've got sleep and sleep on it here for somebody. All right. So this is about taking the time out. There could have been a time out. You may need to take a time out. There could have been a delay. There could have been a challenge. There could have been a hold up. Okay. But this is about uh, getting the rest up. Okay. And rejuvenation here for somebody. This is a rejuvenation nation okay so if you need to take the time out bloody take the time out okay but the commitment here seems to be within its power let's keep the hope alive all right this is good okay uh we're going to get another message i do uh spell casters yeah, right. Uh, so someone's maybe not being pleasant within a situation or there's an unpleasantry here. There could be a challenge, a hold up or a delay with the Knight of Cups in reverse. All right. So Knight of Cups in reverse normally talks about a... Um, okay it's coming through like it as an emotional challenge okay but generally speaking this is an, an emotional medium-sized communication okay which is coming in all right this can mean things such as yahoo party boy okay he's not in his power all right for someone here you may be feeling this way about someone all right or you might be feeling like this about yourself but um normally this is a medium-sized communication that's not in, not in its power right it's a challenge it's a hold up a delay okay or things aren't eventuating right We've got King of Swords here, uh, which is a masculine, okay, air energy. Um, it's normally a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay. Otherwise, we're talking about a professional person, someone that deals with communication on the daily, all right. Um, and it says it how it is. Un oh, unprofessional here for someone as well, okay. So someone might actually be unprofessional, okay, whether that's you or whether that's somebody else, all right. Uh, the words here that are coming through, they're saying a topsy-turvy right topsy-turvy maybe a 50 50 it may be a split effect mate you might not know how to feel about it okay because there's no oh authenticity right there's no authenticity with this right and uh it's uh it's not coming from the heart perhaps as well okay so that could be a deal this could be a cause for a time out or a self-reflect 
also. Okay, that's interesting, guys. Uh, I got serious all of a sudden. Okay, this feels like serious business. Uh, we've got two of pen pentacles here, which talks about juggling. Okay, it talks about finances as well. Uh, it talks about bringing things into balance, a balancing act. Okay, juggling things. That's the deal. All right. Um, this can be anything from finances to just anything symbolically. Um, it, it, it's taking a fast approach as well. Uh, someone's taking a fast approach here, um, which is interesting. Uh, but this seems to be within its power. Okay, if we're balancing things out. Okay, seems to be a deal. Um, there may be more than one aspect here, more than one thing that needs looking at, but I feel like it can be achieved. There could be a friend here which could be helping us out. Okay, as you can see, there's a doggy dog there that's delivering lunch. Okay, he's really cute. He's gorgeous. All right, so there could be a friend, all right, helping you out, which is gorgeous. All right, we've got Ace of Cups. All right, I fell out weird. This normally talks about a brand new emotional opportunity. Okay, this can be such things such as new love. Okay, coming in, um, it may or may not apply. All right, um, for somebody here, we're having some challenges. All right, we may be getting the drinkies on. Uh, something like this is like, well, I'm just going to get a goon cask. All right, because it's cheap and easy, mate, and it's going to do the job. All right, because I'm on a budget. All right, that's that's how it's going through. All right, but um, otherwise, this is balancing things okay bringing things into balance and it could be on the emotional levels okay it could be on the love levels it could be about you know new opportunities coming in all right um we're just going to pick a couple off the top here we've got five of swords here uh, which represents um communications unpleasantness verbal disagreements ghosting okay it could have been a deal all right and you know we may not know how to cope or how to deal with these things we may not know whether we're coming or going arthur or martha mate uh with this topsy-turvy energy all right um, but um, I'm feeling someone's actually cutting communication here because it's in their best interest, okay? And uh, you need to, it's coming through like you need to deal with what you need to deal with, okay? Because that's the deal. <laughs> that's what goes on, all right? And uh, removing yourself from unpleasant energy as well, okay? Because I'm feeling here that it's a self-sabotage for somebody, okay? Um, somebody is surrounding themselves in like negativity. Oh, a desperado, okay? Desperado just came through. You may be feeling that way, all right? And uh, this is about taking charge of the situation and feeling strong within oneself, okay? Um, again, all right? Or you may be dealing with this energy. So this this could be you. This could be someone else. This could be a bloody situation, mate. It could be desperate, desperation here, all right? Uh, but this is about removing toxic energy, cutting cutting cords, cutting communication if you have to, all right, and surrounding yourself with the good stuff, all right, positivity, I hate the love and light, right, I actually hate that love and light crap, right, but so in here, right, surrounding yourself with the positive vibes might actually help, all right, we've got two of ones here, which is contemplation, this is an action, this is a choice, this is, we have two choices here, and what action are we going to take, this is about the future, Okay, where are we heading for the future? There could have been communication involved, all right? Uh, there could have been a conversation, all right? Um, so this is about you. This is about changing seasons. This is about where we're heading, okay, for future growth, all right? So buckle up. Don't make a decision here for someone. Otherwise, this is about taking the time out to make the most appropriate decision and take the most appropriate course of action here. All right, if this is you, we're going to get you some bloody psychic tarot for the heart, right? Oh my goodness, guys, this feels like a bit of a debacle, but it's okay. Like, I feel like someone's on top of their game here, even though it's taking time. We've got awaiting results, okay? We could be awaiting results. We could have been giving someone a second chance here as well, or giving the situation a chance, all right, and seeing what goes on. Um, this could be a waiting game, all right? Could be a waiting game. Uh, waiting for things to pay off or things to pay out as well. Um, oh my goodness, that's just so... All right, we've got heal, okay, and this is about personal healing. This is about breaking chains, limitations, burdens, all right, uh, changing the past forever, okay, karmic laws, right? This could be a karma deal, all right? We could be breaking that cycle, that, you know, repetitious crap, okay, and, um, you know, coming to terms with things now, completing cycles, okay, completing karma, stuff like that, all right? Uh, we've got joy and stability, and it's on the way here for somebody. Well done, all right? Uh, but this is about you know, breaking those burdens and what's holding you back, all right? So this can be done. We've got just breathe, okay? And this feels like a big deal, all right? This feels like a big deal. Uh, for somebody here, this could be, um, you know, to do with verbal disagreements on the matter. Someone that might not like to see you happy as well, could be a deal, all right? Um, with this joy and stability, right, and the just breathe, 
and the win or lose, okay, I'm really feeling here that somebody just does not want to see somebody happy, okay, and that, that, it's unfortunate, okay, but know that that's not you, okay, you have every right to enjoy this, all right, and uh, be true to yourself and be lighthearted and happy, okay, you deserve this, okay, um, so cut your losses, right, get rid of that, if you can, if you can, all right, sometimes we can't, all right, but um, this is about taking a time out and just breathing, Okay, when something suddenly comes in, all right, that's freaking awesome. Okay, that could be a deal. Um, not taking it anymore. Not taking it anymore. All right, seek the truth within the situation. Either someone's refusing to seek the truth within the situation, doesn't want to, doesn't want to look deeper, and that's okay, whatever. Um, or, or someone's actually looking at this, okay, seriously, and diving right into it, mate. Um, this could be multi-assets, uh, multi-assets, <laughs> oh my goodness, multi-assets, right? All right, so that might need looking at, all right? Otherwise, we've got two faces here, two or more faces, okay, which are apparent. Um, it could be legit, okay? This could be legit. This could be who someone is, all right? And that's just who they are, okay? It's like putting on a persona, right? And it doesn't mean, I mean, someone could be fake within the situation, okay? That could be a deal. But for someone else here, this is actually a true expression of self. Okay, and it's like embracing those parts of self, you know, uh, the child, you know, the inner child, mate, the seriousness, the, you know, whatever else goes on. All right, this is a deal. Otherwise, this is about looking into things. Okay, if something's not right, if something is sus, okay, um, if something is hidden, have a look into that. All right, we've got solar plexus chakra in the reverse. Somebody's lacking the willpower and the motivations, okay, to get stuff done. This could be you, this could be someone else. All right. Um, if it's someone else, there's nothing you can do about it, okay? Recenter, refocus on yourself, okay? Do what you can on your end of the things, all right? To make things easier for yourself. Otherwise, if this is about you, um, this is about getting on top of your game, knowing your self-worth, knowing your own power, okay? And stepping forward, okay? And doing something, doing something, all right? Feeling that motivation, you are worthy, okay? You are worthy of love, okay? For somebody here, you are worthy of love, okay? And for somebody here, something better is coming in for you, all right? But this is going to take time, and this comes down to personal healing, okay? And your own personal choices, all right? And not repeating the past, all right? This is about breaking chains here, all right? And this is about your own joy and stability, okay? Um, so have a look at these things. If you need to do any chakra healing this month, solar plexus, guys, get onto it, okay? There could be an imbalance here. This could go in either way. This could be over-controlling, okay, and too demanding, okay, asserting your willpower onto others, okay, and it is a detriment, okay, um, being bossy within a situation, that could be a detriment too, all right, um, so look at those things, try to bring those things into balance, all right, um, otherwise we're talking about not having enough willpower, not having enough strength, um, lack of integrity too here for someone, it's, it's an integral part of the situation, okay, integrity, right, it's going to make you feel better, You've got to change your focus, all right, so let's focus on the positivity. Let's focus on the future. Let's focus on self-healing. Okay, let's focus on the good, which is in our lives. Okay, and I'm uh, really getting someone here going, no, no more. Okay, and it's like literally like aspects of their life and they're like, nah, out, done, seal the deal, get out of my dome, mate. Like that's how it is. All right, we're talking like bio dome. All right, if you see the freaking movie. All right, it's like literally, you don't want any harshness in your dome, mate. You know, um, it's just like, no, it's not going to happen, all right? And I feel like someone here, I feel like that dome of symbology is actually important, okay, with what they just showed me, okay? It feels like a force field and feeling safe, okay? This is about your own safety, safety measures that are being put in place, all right? But this is about you feeling safe and comfortable, okay? You may need to get out of your comfort zone. Could be a deal, all right? But if you've had a long and hard slog of not feeling safe within a situation, okay, safety is priority and um, supporting that energy within your life, okay? You need to be able to give um, yourself what you need, okay? That's, that's the thing, okay? And once you start showing yourself respect, okay, and giving yourself what it is that you deserve, what you require within life, then you will start to draw the outer into you, okay, which is like other people that are going to support that, okay, or situations or opportunities, okay, this is about law of attraction and this is how it works, okay, but you've got to focus on yourself, okay, you've got to heal, you've got to come from the right space, okay, which is a space of integrity, okay, and a space of love, okay, as well, and even if it's, this is just about loving yourself, okay, <clears throat> so this is really deep for someone here, 
all right um but this is about doing everything you can to help yourself all right and it's like um the good things are there and it's coming in i'm seeing a flowing here for someone all right there is a flowing which is happening so well done to whoever that is. Uh, it feels really good. I feel like someone is actually protected. Okay, and they're showing me that force field again. And um, it's like you are actually protected. So know that you are safe. Okay, um, you may have had some past you know issues or problems there uh safety could have been a concern or a deal for you okay and i'm feeling like it was a massive deal mate and if that's you i feel your pain <laughs> i really do you know it, it's it's a massive deal okay to be able to feel safe especially you know when you've had past trauma okay um when you've had to go through unpleasantness after unpleasantness after unpleasantness of you know feeling you know unsafe within your situations or environments or around people okay uh it is a big deal okay and it does take a lot of healing all right and it's about getting on the same page as someone else too. Someone needs to talk to someone here um, and say it, you know, how it is maybe. Being honest, okay, without putting people down. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I can't stress this enough, guys. Okay, um, with communication, okay, especially I know when people are hurting, it's hard not to hurt others. All right, I get that. I understand we're human, right? But it serves no purpose, okay, to put other people down, okay, to make yourself feel better, all right? End of story. That's how it is, right? Even if we hate the person, okay, it is not worth it. It is not worth putting someone down or belittling somebody to make yourself feel better um, because by making yourself feel better in that way, it is not causing strength within the situation, okay? It's actually causing a weakness, all right? It's causing a weakness, and um, that's what you're promoting, okay, within your life. So you need to have a good look at these things, okay? We need to learn to, if we can't deal with someone else, okay, or with communication, all right, um, this is just expressing about how you feel on the inside, okay, and removing yourself and detaching yourself from that external person or situation, okay, and just being honest with yourself. And it's as simple as just acknowledging the fact that, wow, this hurts, okay? And it's as simple as that. We don't have to go on about, um, you know, how this person is an asshole or <laughs> they did this, they did that, they're such a horrible person, okay? You know, it may be the truth, okay, to somebody here, all right, but um, it's not supporting positive energy and supportive energy within your life okay so this is about being honest with yourself okay and it takes two to tango as well um this is about not putting up with crap or going back to the same crap okay and uh making a difference um seeing from a different perspective okay that everybody is wounded okay that could be a a deal as well um because someone you know if someone's an unpleasant or an unnice person all right let's just have a think for a second how much trauma and how much crap that they've probably gone through within life right from you know being a, a you know a, a, a child a small child okay and feeling you know threatened vulnerable you know possibly within a family um you know possibly with surrounding circumstances you know we don't know everybody's story okay and um you know they're doing the best and trying to deal with it how they're trying to deal with it okay but that's not your responsibility that's not your problem. That's not your issue. Um, I mean, like, if you want to help support, help support them, okay? But uh, for somebody here, this is about you, okay? And your healing and what you're doing on a personal level, all right? This feels very direct, okay? Um, but you may have got some guidance out of it, okay? This could be beneficial for somebody, all right? So let's have a refocus, all right? And let's look at ourselves and what we're supporting within our life, okay? What we're moving on from, okay? And what we're leaving behind, Okay, and what we're moving towards, guys, you know, is the past going to repeat? Are we going to make the difference? Are we going to make the change? All right, I'm feeling this positive growth here for someone, right? It's like, go, 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 right? I really support someone here because I feel that somebody has found their worth. Okay, somebody has found their worth here, right? And they're not putting up with anything less. Okay, this is great. Well done. All right, Aries. Oh my goodness, high five. All right. This is great. Okay, so that's your reading, all right? Thanks for your patience. Thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate your attitude, all right? This is the deal. I'm appreciating your attitude. I appreciate my attitude too, all right? Because this is what goes on. Um, and this is about loving, okay? I love you and I love myself also. So I'm going to do what's right for you. I'm going to do what's right for me, okay? Um, but 
have a good one, guys. I hope that spoke on some level, okay? I hope you got a message out of this. Uh, if, if you didn't, all right, or if you require any further guidance or whatever, uh, feel free to check out any other readings, regardless of whether it's on this channel or not. But, like, take it easy, guys. And I'm really encouraging you. I'm seeing someone really move forward here, all right? So keep up the good work, all right? I'll take it easy. I'm sending all my love to you, okay? See you later. Bye.